Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon. And today, as a part of the Super Inc. Movie Club Reviews, created by Amy McLean, I'm going to be reviewing Deadpool. I'm getting ready to turn it on right now. Um, I've seen it two or three times already. I saw it once in the theater and once here at home. Um, <clears throat> getting ready to watch it again so I can refresh myself on what goes on in the movie and uh i'll be back with my oh, review hey guys welcome to come again if you're new make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell comment below hit the like button and maybe even share with your friends <laughs> all right guys welcome back like i said Today I'm going to be going over my Deadpool review. I never actually did a review on the movie. John did one early on in our show. Um, and this is for the Super Inc. Movie Club, which Amy McLean started. So it, it was voted on on Twitter uh, what movie we were going to review this month. And so I guess everyone chose Deadpool. I've seen this movie a few times. I just finished watching it. Uh, really good movie uh, adaptation of a comic book. Um, spot on. Uh, great action. Uh, great humor. Spot on with uh, Deadpool's character. Because in the comics, he did always break the fourth wall. There was a lot of comedy. Uh, perfect R-rated movie. For those of you who don't know, Deadpool... Uh, made his first appearance in X-Force comics. Uh, he started out as a villain, but he quickly became a fan favorite. And so that's when he became the Merc with the Mouth. There were some Easter eggs uh, in the movie. Um, one of them in particular that a lot of people didn't catch was the Taken reference. And I say that because Deadpool is an X-Men movie and Taken... Actually, hang on. I got it right here somewhere. There. So the Taken movies star Liam Neeson and um, Famke Jensen. Which, for those of you who don't know, Famke Jensen played Jean Grey in the three original X-Men movies. So that was a nice little Easter egg. Um, Fam in the Taken movies, Famke Jensen plays... Liam Neeson's ex-wife. Spoiler alert, she does die in the third movie. But yeah, really good movie, really good adaptation. For those of you who haven't read the comics, the way they interpreted Deadpool for the movie, he's exactly the same in the comics. Although the comics can't really show the nudity and stuff like that, but the personality is spot on. Great movie, I really enjoyed it. My wife and I went and saw it in the theater couple weeks after it came out and as i said john did do a review on come again earlier in the show's history uh so go back through and check that out um in fact we even did a superhero landing that deadpool references in the movie uh early on it took a <laughs> it took a lot of takes to get that perfect it's in our uh channel trailer if you want to check it out um, it required me getting up on a step stool and jumping off and doing the super hand hero landing on a concrete floor, which <laughs> kind of hurt my knees a little bit. And it took so many takes that by the end of it, my legs were jelly from all the jumping. Uh, but I digress. Great movie. Uh, Ryan Reynolds does it perfectly. When it was first announced that Ryan Reynolds was going to play Deadpool, in X-Men Origins Wolverine, I thought it was the perfect perfect casting choice because that was about the same time that um, Wolverine ver or Hulk versus came out and it had uh, Hulk versus Wolverine on it, which Deadpool made a cameo. Uh, well, not really a cameo, but uh, Deadpool co-starred in it. Just the wisecracks he did, you know, it really made me think, you know, Deadpool would, I mean, Ryan Reynolds would make the perfect Deadpool. Then X-Men Origins Wolverine came out, and I thought it was a good movie, but they didn't really portray Deadpool the way they should have. And I'm glad they fixed it this time around. And um, I love how Ryan Reynolds poked fun at himself uh, from when he played Green Lantern, uh, where he said, uh, 
don't make the super suit green or animated. Um, and he poked fun of himself again with uh, the X-Men Origins Wolverine Deadpool figure, Baraka pool figure. Um, that was great. Uh, I think I'm going to end this here. This is a second recording I did of it. I didn't really like the first take I did. So, oh, brightness. Um, so, yeah, check it out, guys, uh, if you haven't seen it. Um, if you're interested in join, joining the Super Inc. Movie Club, head on over to Amy McLean's channel. Her link will be in the description. I'm getting ready to show you her channel on YouTube. All right. So this is Amy McLean. She's an author, vlogger. She does movie hauls, ASMR videos, uh, book hauls, movie reviews, stuff like that. Uh, really good channel. Bring it up here for you guys real quick. So yeah, here's her review uh, for the Super Inc. Movie Club, Deadpool. Uh, check it out. Um, as I said, she does DVD and uh, DVD hauls, uh, book hauls, ASMR uh stuff like that so check it out and for those of you who were directed over here from uh her super ink movie club reviews um and you wanted to check out mine you can check out other reviews of my, of ours right here by subscribing to come again tv let me go ahead and bring this up real quick there's our channel let's go ahead and bring this up you crazy mother Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is Comic Ken TV, where we have a lot of fun every week. So that's enough of that. Like I said, check us out, subscribe. We have a lot of fun. We do pop reviews, we do movie reviews, comic book reviews, TV reviews, everything geek culture. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys real soon. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.